Hello everybody, welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, <coughs> excuse me, um, we are done with the headlands and uh, Jim is currently cutting, but uh, both the combine and this tractor are both uh, a little low on fuel. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run over and grab our fuel trailer and uh, bring that over here. The oats are yielding phenomenally well. Um, we already filled one hopper bin just off of headlands. So quite a bit of uh, oats coming in. Um, we are going to probably fill the three hopper bins, and, uh, I think we only have three if I remember correctly, but we're going to fill the hopper bins with oats, and I think the rest we might, uh, just haul straight in, uh, we'll see. Because we do want to keep some bin space for our other crops, especially since we have a lot more of uh, a lot of those other crops. So we do want to kind of spread things out a little bit. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get the cart filled up first, and then... Uh, or the tractor, I guess I should say. But uh, we're going to get this filled up first. Perfect. So that guy is full. And now we're going to go track down the combine. Which uh, I believe he has stopped. Needing to be unloaded. And I did go in prior to this episode and I did edit the combine. Um, the fuel usage was set way too high, so, I mean, this combine's only done the headlands and a couple of rounds, and it is plumb empty, and, uh, it also had def on it, which was not a thing at the time of production of these combines. So, I took that out of it. So you can see there's no def over here anymore. Okay, that is full. We will run the pickup back over. And then uh, we will grab the grain cart and we'll bring it over and get him unloaded and get him moving again. We are definitely going to have a lot of straw bales around here to get uh, used for bedding, which is a good thing. We're going to want it. Alright. Let's jump in this guy here and get moving.
and I did just dump this on uh, our general there, or bison, whatever it is, on our uh, blue truck. I would like to sell a load or two for sure of uh, oats, because we, uh, we could use some cash flow right now. As you can see, we only got uh, 45000 right now in the bank account. And uh, that's definitely not going to get us through to the end of harvest. We, we need a little more cash flow on hand here. Okay, I gotta change this thing quick. So that way it just unloads. This one here. Stop all unloading, deactivate. Combine is definitely not moving very quick, that's for sure. So it shouldn't take him too long, and uh, he'll get a full truck, or he'll get a full hopper so we can for sure fill one truck, and then we can get a good jump on the other. down here to the other end and wait for him. But the biggest reason that I want to kind of preserve our bin space is I would like to uh, I would like to put some of our especially like our corn, things like that. I would like to keep that in, uh, in the bins. And uh, our sunflowers especially, those are going to be some bigger money makers for us. So I would uh, definitely like to keep as many and get them contracted. So we'll take a look here. Yeah, we're... So we got two more hopper bins that we can, or all, let's see here. This one, we're in the process of filling, and I believe this one's already getting up there. Okay, no. This one I just started dumping in, so we got 11% in there. Um, so we still got a lot of room on that one, but... Um, Sprayer still out for Hain. This guy could go to the field, but we'll wait until we're done combining for that. So let's run back on over here and see where our combine is. Let's see here on our Let's 
see if that gets him moving a little faster. Otherwise, we are going to be here forever, and I don't think he's even going to make it down here to the end, which is unfortunate, but fortunate at the same time. Yeah, it's looking like he's going to fill up. Come on, just a little further. Perfect. That works. Great. It's not going to stay that way, considering the fact that uh, our passes are going to get longer, but... Sliding with the uh, header there. Oops. Now I did. Oh, no. I did not. He filled up, though. Let's get backed up here. Get uh, a little straighter. Somewhat, maybe. If I can. We'll go until we're full, and then we'll uh, get some trucks loaded. Perfect. All right, let's go dump this on the trucks. See if we can at least get uh, two full trucks loaded and dumped in this video. And then uh, afterwards, we'll jump ahead to the next field for the next video. We've already pulled a lot of oats out of here, and we got a lot more to go. It's going to take us a while, but hopefully make some good money, and hopefully we can... Uh, start looking into other equipment and fields more bin space that's a for sure thing there Should be having manual discharge here. Not, uh. Of course. Hmm. 
thought I activated uh, manual unloading, but apparently not. That's alright, I guess. Alright. Let's go pick him up again. And then we'll have enough to top off that last truck. And then uh, we can go dump him. Jim will fill the hopper up again and then he'll just uh, sit and wait for us. Oh, and I see he is sitting there full. One downfall to uh, dropping the windrows. Tractor hits them and just bounces. It's crazy. We'll get him unloaded here quick. This is a fairly nice combine though. I do enjoy uh, using this one for these smaller setups or small to medium scale setups I should say all right we will get out of his way here we can uh, run up and top off that truck and he'll fill the hopper again and wait for us and uh, then we will uh, go dump some trucks. Keep forgetting that I have my controller sitting here and plugged in. Make some of our driving a little nicer. Okay, pull this off to the side here, out of the way. We'll just leave it run because we'll be back here shortly. stuff.
Okay, we should be good there. far. There we go. Perfect. We're at 10.1 uh, moisture on this load. So we're definitely dry. A little drier than what we need to be. Okay, we'll get this swung back in. One of our next purchases will definitely be a uh, drive over, swing out. Definitely gonna need one of those. For sure. Don't remember what key I had programmed for engine shutting off. Fire up the old Kenworth. This truck's getting down there on fuel too. I think we should be good to make it through uh, the rest of harvest though. Another thing that doesn't help is these uh, single hopper trailers are so much smaller. This trailer is a little longer, so it's a little bit easier on the swing out, but these single hopper trailers are so much more difficult to uh, line up with the hopper. the uh, swing out, I guess, not hopper, but. All right, let's take a look at our bin here. So we're 
35% full now. Yeah, it's not going to take long. We may have to... Let's see, we got three here, two here, and two at the other yard. We may have enough bin space. Uh, we do also, I guess, have the one over in Jim's yard. We might actually use that um, bin over in Jim's yard. And we'll fill that one with oats. Um, as we do, we can use that one, so we might, might do that. And then if we fill that and have overrun, then we'll haul it into town. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do is we'll use the one at Jim's and uh, then we'll go from there. If we fill that bin too, then, then we'll figure out what we're going to do. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. Go pick Jim up here. Hopefully, he was heading west, so then we can unload on the go. And he is, so perfect. At least until the end of his pass we can here. So we're getting there on this field. We're just about half done. And then we just got our smaller one there. So hopefully everything will fit and we won't have to sell. But uh, if we do, then uh, we'll figure it out from there. Again, selling a load or two wouldn't hurt. Um, I mean, it would be kind of beneficial to us to uh, get rid of a couple loads. It may not be worth a whole lot right now, but be uh, at least something to keep us running for now.
Well, we just took out the stack on that one. Okay. Well, folks, I am going to get this field finished up off camera and uh, see how far we can get and uh, figure it out from there. So, thanks everybody for tuning in today. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out the rest of the series and uh, hit that thumbs up button. And we'll catch you all in the next video.